Can I flush out my own radiator? Um, if, if you have one radiator on the system that's not currently working, it may be that that particular radiator is blocked. Um, there's various issues that can be causing a radiator not to work. It, it may be as simple as it needs bleeding, the valves are faulty, there's a blockage to the pipework to the radiator, or it could be the radiator itself that's blocked, um, which is underperforming. If you find you are getting heat to the radiator, but it's only at the top, and you have like a the bottom part of the radiator is um, is is cold or lukewarm, it may be that the sludge stuck in that one radiator. So as an owner, you may decide you want to um, flush that radiator out yourself. And there is a, a, a simple way of doing that at home using your your mains water. Um, so I'm going to show you a method to do that. Um, as long as you're competent removing and refitting the radiator, we also have videos online. That will show you that um, but this video will show you specifically how to clean one radiator out once you've safely removed the radiator um, if you're competent doing so if not maybe check one of our other videos um, once you've safely removed the radiator take it outside connect a hose from your outdoor tap or another water source into the radiator and this is what's called the mains flush we're putting mains cold water into the radiator so at high pressure and we're just going to blast all the dirt and sludge whatever's in the inside of the radiator through the other side until it runs clear right so we've got cold mains here coming into the radiator running through the radiator and out of the other end as you can see it's first running clear um, but what we're going to do is we're going to flip it upside down and then back again and several times until we get any dirt out of the system, out of the radiator and uh, it's perfectly clear. Right, we're doing it the opposite way now. And you can see the water is coming out clear again and at a nice flow rate as well. So if you've got a heavily contaminated radiator, that flow rate will be restricted and the water will be black and you want to run the water through the radiator until this turns clear as it is. I hope that's explained how to clean out one radiator. Um, it wasn't a great example because that particular radiator wasn't heavily contaminated or blocked. Um, but when you, if you follow that procedure and um, you've got a contaminated system, you will see black heavy sludge come out the other end. And that's exactly what you want to remove. You want to clean the heavy dirt because that's what's preventing the heated water in your heating system um, transfer the heat into the radiator the the black sludge is preventing it working efficiently so um, hopefully that procedure you can follow easily enough and you get some great results um, but feel free to ask any questions